Amanda, sorry to bother you. I have something to apologize to you. Huh? What is it suddenly? I'm in a hotel with your husband right now. I'm your elder sister, and I stole your precious husband. I'm a bad sister, am I? Oh, okay. So, what now? So what? Your husband is cheating on you, and that's all you gotta say? That's all you wanna say? That's it? Of course not. Are you mad? You're too nonchalant about your sister. That's tough. I texted you because I want to tell you something. Caleb wants a divorce. He said he'd rather be with me than you. Did he really say that? Yes. He said he'd rather have me, the intelligent one, than his ugly, stupid wife. I see. Caleb says he doesn't care what his family and friends think of him. He wants to be with me. I feel so loved. I'm so lucky. I feel sorry for you. Okay. Okay? You should be frustrated. You lost your husband to me. Are you trying to pretend you don't care? Natalie, your English has gotten better, huh? What? You are so good in chemistry and math, but for some reason your English was always bad. Even a second grader can speak better than you. Now you can even spell words right. That's because I have my autocorrect on. It corrects my spelling. I see. Who cares about that? Now hurry up and break up with Caleb. Why would I do that? Why? Because I love him. Poor thing! Your husband is having an affair with me. He would never cheat on me. You believe him? <laughs> Unfortunately, your husband is in the hotel with me right now. That's a fact. Do you know what happens when you mess with someone's husband? There you go! You want me to pay you alimony? We're sisters, okay? There's no such things as alimony between sisters. I mean, if you commit adultery, it's only natural to pay compensation even between sisters. Don't you know that? Seriously, I don't have time to deal with this crap. Who the hell are you anyways? Ha! Huh, what are you saying now? I told you I'm your sister. Don't lie to me. Who are you? What the hell are you doing pretending to be my sister? Hey, have you forgotten about me, your sister? How could I forget about my favorite sister? Then how can you doubt that I'm your sister? I'm sure you still have our previous messages. I'm actually on a vacation with my sister right now. We've been together since yesterday. We went to the spa and we are driving home now. She's watching all this happen next to me. That's why I know it's not her. It was half through a trip when she realized she doesn't have her phone. She was talking about losing her phone and then you probably hit it. Now you're using it to text me. That's not true! I'm your sister! Stop lying about being with your sister! You're the one lying. She doesn't even call me Amanda. What? See, my sister moved to Italy when we were little and recently came back. So she doesn't have any friends out here. That's why she longs to be called by a nickname like friends do. Since she came back, she's calling me Mandy. Also, she almost grew up there. She's not even that good in English. I don't know anything about that. So, who are you? Are you Caleb by any chance? Nope. 
Then who are you? I won't tell you. You said you are at the hotel with Caleb, right? I've been trying to get a hold of him, but he's not answering my calls. Maybe this was the wrong number. Huh? You think you can get away with this? I'll return the phone. Bye! Caleb, you're not cheating on me, right? Huh? I would never do that to you. I know. Someone was pretending to be my sister and told me that you are cheating on me with her. I think it's someone who picked up her phone. She was saying that she was at a hotel with you right now. Huh? Impossible! I know, right? I'm sorry to question you. I get it. But trust me, I'm still at the office working. Okay, I believe you. I can't live without you, Amanda. I would never do anything stupid. Thank you. We just got home. And guess what? We found her phone in the mailbox. We met up at our place yesterday before we left. And that's when I think she dropped her phone. But who in the world? Do you have any idea who would do such thing? No. I don't go out with any women. Nobody even invites me. I've never felt like anyone is after me either. Well, then who in the world? Maybe we should call the cops. Whoa! Wait, what was that? Huh? Did I scare you? No, I heard some loud noise. What kind of noise? A cracking sound. It sounded like a window breaking. I think it's from the bedroom. Where are you now? I'm in the living room. Don't go into the bedroom. It's dangerous. I'll call the police right away. Don't worry. Thank you. I think something like a ball or a stone was thrown in. You think it's the same person who took my sister's phone? Did I do something for them to do such thing? Calm down. I'm rushing home now, too. Wow, this is absurd. What happened? I peeked into the bedroom and found that the window glass was scattered all over the room. I told you not to go in there. But I couldn't help but be curious. I can't sleep like this. How am I supposed to clean this up? I'll take care of it when I get back. Don't touch anything. It's better to show it to the police as evidence. I'll be home soon. I'll never forgive who did this. Caleb, are you sure you're not cheating on me? I told you I'm not. Even so, they must really like you to go this far. Otherwise, why would they do it? I'm going out to find whoever did this. Wait, no! I told you it's dangerous. I want to know who did this. I'll never forgive them. I'm begging you, please stay inside. I'm not gonna forgive myself if something were to happen to you. Okay, okay. I'm sorry for being so selfish. Thank you. I'll be home soon. Good morning. Sorry to bother you this early. How are you doing? We live next door and I haven't seen you lately. I was wondering about you. Oh, hi, Miss Amanda. It's been a long time. Thank you for your concern. I 
I'm doing fine. I guess we just happened to miss each other. So, what can I do for you? Yesterday, a stone was thrown at our house. Our window was broken. I was also startled when I heard a loud noise. Then a police car came, and I wondered what all the fuss was about. Are you all right? Not at all. I had to find a contractor last night to fix the window. Thank God we found someone. But there's this woman pretending to be my sister and trying to steal my husband. I really wish all this would stop. What? That's really unfortunate. I need to be careful too. My husband told me not to go near the room with the broken window glass. But I couldn't resist and went there immediately. What? Why are you surprised? I didn't know you would do something so dangerous. Anyone would be surprised. Yeah, it was dangerous. But I couldn't resist. She tipped me off about my husband cheating. I knew it was a woman. I was going to confront her. But the woman climbed over the fence and left. Oh, I see. You're quite bold to say you confront her like that. I've been practicing judo all my life. I'm as good as any man. Too bad you couldn't catch her. Yes. I'd like to apologize for causing a disturbance late last night. Are you going to be at home today? Oh, no, no. You're a victim too. No need to apologize. Don't worry about it. No way. That doesn't make me feel better. I'll come by when your husband is also around. What? Why? I apologize for the disturbance caused by the sirens. I would like to apologize to your husband as well. No, no, no! That's fine! Anyway, we'll come by tonight. Hey! I told you! You don't have to! What the hell are you doing? I'll never forgive you! What are you doing here so early in the morning? Didn't I tell you not to come over? And yet you showed up at my house and treated me like a criminal in front of my husband! Is ruining people's families your hobby? I'll return those exact words right back at you. But let me ask you, who exactly tried to ruin my family? So, I said it wasn't me yesterday, right? How could I possibly impersonate your sister? There's no way I could do that! My sister said she had her phone in her pocket that day. When she bent down to put her stuff down, she figured she must have dropped it. So, what does that have to do with identity theft? You picked up the phone, didn't you? And then you pretended to be her and texted me using that phone, right? Hey, hold on! Don't make accusations like that without any evidence! That's just a wild guess! My husband interrogated me all night after that. I guess one night of questioning is better than more, huh? What? I have proof. That's a lie! First of all, I'm not the criminal! We gave my sister's phone to the cops. They said they'll check for fingerprints so, if yours are found, there's no denying it. You can't get away with it. Regarding the incident with the bedroom, 
Thanks to the fact that I went to the room right away. We've got you on camera climbing over our fence and entering the neighboring house. Of course, this footage has also been submitted to the police. No, it wasn't me! I've mistaken my house from yours! It just happened the same time the window glass was broken! What a weak excuse! I never imagined it could be the neighbors! Why did you do this? I was just teasing you! And yet you call the police, you are overreacting! I'm so annoyed by all this fuss! No way! You said you are in a hotel with my husband! Then breaking our window! And now you expect me not to make a fuss? Come on now! We have all this evidence! I'm surprised at your lack of remorse! But you are lying, right? What? Lying? We have proof! That proof is a lie too, huh? Huh? Even if it's true, there's no solid evidence to catch me, right? I'd be in police custody by now, wouldn't I? Too bad, I'm not caught! I didn't know you were that stupid. Huh? Stupid? How dare you say that? See? The police narrowed down the suspect to some extent. Without solid evidence, they can't just make arrests easily. That's why they are thoroughly investigating. They're examining everything from the fingerprints on the phone to the videos on the device. Even the footprints left in the yard. Even so, there's no way they'll be able to trace it back to me. Are you still going to act though? What? I mean, you're capable of doing this. I figured you might have done something in the past. Huh? I haven't done anything. Really? What's up with you? I told you I didn't do anything! You're gonna do it again? I know you. Not only me, but your husband too. What? My husband explained the situation to your parents. And he asked if you have had any problems in the past. Oh no! What did they tell you? Your mother thought, oh, they finally found out, so she blurted it out. That bitch! Wow, you are not only stupid, and you are an asshole too. Mind your own business! Everyone does a little mischief when they are young, right? Well, I guess everyone has their share of mischief, right? But is causing trouble with a beer bottle at a bar or pushing someone into the street considered mischief? It's unbelievable to think it came to that! I've been hiding it all along, thinking it would be bad if my husband found out! If you love your husband enough to want to keep that a secret, why did you try to take my husband away from me? Huh? Don't get me wrong! I don't want your husband! What? I love my husband! And I'm not interested in your ugly husband! Huh? Calling someone husband ugly is so rude! If you don't like my husband, why did you do that? I just wanted to destroy your family! Seriously? What did I ever do to you? That happy face of yours pisses me off! What? We were barely 
barely getting by every month. But I still wanted our own home. I was thrilled when we managed to build a house, even if it was small. But then, here you are! Building a huge mansion right next to ours! You didn't even give me a chance to enjoy my happiness! So, I guess you're just bitter, aren't you? You're right! Don't belittle it! For me, it's not something trivial! You and your husband always go out together looking all happy! While me, I haven't been even intimate with my husband in years! That's not my problem. So I thought, if I tell you that your husband was cheating on you, you wouldn't forgive him. I wanted you to break up and sell that mansion and get the hell out of my town. I'm sorry, but we are in love. There's no way my husband would ever cheat on me. So there's no way I would ever sell this house or leave this town. I'm sorry I couldn't make your wish come true. Just go away! You and your husband are the hated in this neighborhood! That's you. Huh? Throwing garbage in front of people's houses, yelling at kids for nothing, People are in trouble because of your presence. Everyone is troubled because of your existence. For you, it might be nothing. But for the one being hurt, it's not something to take lightly. It's a big mistake to think everything will go your way, you know? No way! You might think what you did to me was just that. But stealing my sister's phone is theft. Breaking our window is trespassing and property damage. If you think you can get away with it, you're wrong. Even for just a moment, suspected my husband might be cheating. He's always been so thoughtful and kind to me, but you've hurt him. Huh, you're blabbing at this point. Stop it! He laughed and forgave me because he's so kind. But I can't forgive myself. You're just trying to show off your perfect relationship by saying that anyway. You've got to be kidding me. In order to forget about this time as soon as possible, I thought we should go on a trip together and have some fun. We decided to go to Paris. What's with you? Fronting your luxurious lifestyle like that? You don't have to go out of your way to brag about it. I don't usually brag about this kind of thing, you know. If I did, I'd just end up being disliked. I only said it because it's you. You're a jerk! I don't care what you think of me. And I don't want to get involved with you again. But if you try to get back at us for this, I'm sure you'll regret it. Huh? Sorry if I sound like I'm bragging again. We have a lot of money and connections. Oh no! I'm sorry! I won't do anything! I'll be quiet and reflective! And I'll disappear! I'm really, really sorry about this! I'm glad you understand. Don't contact me again. Bye! Sophie was arrested despite her belief that there wasn't enough evidence especially the act of throwing a stone. Thankfully, I wasn't hurt. It was considered serious due to the potential for injury. 
she received a prison sentence. After learning about this incident and past problems, her husband decided to divorce her. He mentioned that not having children made the decision easier. Also, the reason for the lack of intimacy for many years was the stress from being pressured. Almost every day. While trying to find reasons and leave her, he realized they had become sexually inactive. She was released after a year. Not only did she lose her husband, but also her parents cut ties with her, lost her friends, and ended up alone. Due to her criminal record, she couldn't find a job. So she moved to the countryside, working at a bar under a different name. She's reportedly venting her frustration and crying, expressing a desire to return to the city. Right now, I'm happily pregnant. Me and Caleb plan to continue to support each other and live happily with our future child.